So we talked about the pre-make, getting the timing right, um, but I didn't, I want to talk about thinking about the choice of studs and do you want to even start doing this? So this is kind of a precursor to kind of a 1B to all this, to, to this first part 1A. So the thing to think about here is you need to think about what your end game is here. You need to think about what you're doing with these puppies. You need to think about how much time it's going to take from you. It's going to, you need to think about what you've got coming up in a couple of months. They're going to stop you maybe from being able to look after these puppies. You can't just have puppies and just leave them alone. You need to be there 24 hours for the for the first couple of days to kind of keep track of what's going on. After that, mum can kind of get on with things. She's a good mum, but you've still got to be there you know, two or three times a day to let your dog out to, to pee and poop and fresh water and food and just make sure puppies are okay. So this is not something for the lighthearted. You don't just go into this without a plan. You need to have a plan at the beginning. So the beginning of your plan is, is my dog a suitable dog to be bred? So is she nice structure? Is she representative of the breed? Does she have any health issues? Is she, is she structurally sound? Does she have, you know, loose hips, knees? Does she have, you know, things about her that just when you look at it, you say, yeah, she's a nice dog, but she's not the best out there. You don't have to necessarily have the best dog to be breeding, but you don't want to have a dog that really is not representative of the breed. So pay attention to and look at the breed standard. You can always go to the AKC and they'll have a breed standard that shows you what the dog should physically look like, what it should weight should be, and some kind of ideas about its personality and structure. So please breed dogs that need to be bred. Don't breed dogs that don't need to be bred. And then think about what you're doing here. Is this something that you're doing because it's going to be fun? That's fine. Is this going to be something that's going to be a financial proposition? That's fine. But think about what the expenses are going to be. Uh, think about where these puppies are going to end up when they're ready to leave home. How are you going to do that? Do you have friends and family? Do they show interest? Are you going to market these dogs? You know, think about all of these things. Don't go into this blind. And then you got to choose a stud. Maybe you have your own stud. Is he related to your female? If he is, maybe you shouldn't be doing that. Line breeding and, uh, um, um, uh, I can't think of the right word now, but uh, basically breeding uh, uh, offspring to parents is not a good idea. Offsprings to parents or grandparents may be not so bad, but still questionable practice. So think about um, you know what your what inbreeding is the word I was looking for inbreeding and line breeding. I got videos on this. Um, okay, so you so you decided that you are going to breed your dog, and now you are looking for a stud. Well, how do you go about that? So you know you can look at places like uh, caninestuddog.com. You can if you've got a French bulldog, certainly would love it if you came to look at us because we have twenty three studs. We do a huge amount of this. There may be somebody who has a local stud that can do this. Ask questions of them. What's their experience? Do they know what they're doing? If they're shipping, how do they ship? Have they shipped before? Is this the first time this dog has been used? What kind of puppies did it produce? Did you have any problems? Ask lots of questions ahead of time. What's the cost going to be? When do I have to pay that? What's the guarantee? If I don't get puppies, do I still have to pay you? You know, these are all questions that you want to ask so that you can make sure that you're stepping into something that you're going to have fun with, enjoy, and be successful at. You don't want to ask these questions after the fact. And then, do you have a vet on board? If you're going to do this, then it's time to think about, is your dog in good shape? You know, if she hasn't had a shots, maybe you're not going to give any shots, maybe you're not going to give any medications. We will talk a little bit about that in mating. Um, God, it's quite a bit, big bit on one B, wasn't there? Sorry about that. It's okay. So here we go. One, one A and one B out of the way, and uh, now we'll get started in the next video on the mating. Thanks for watching. Bye. Hey, thanks for watching the the video. Uh, I really appreciate people who subscribe to me. It helps me, encourage me to do more of these videos. But do remember, disclaimer here: I am not a vet. I'm not a licensed medical professional. I'm purely a person who's been breeding dogs for the last couple of decades. Any information that you got from this video, use at your own risk. There's nothing implied here. And certainly this is, should not be used as a substitute for advice from your veterinarian or your medical professional. I hope you enjoyed the video. Come back for more of them. Bye.